Hi, it's DeWire. It is Friday, September the 3rd, 2021. You know, I love boxing. Boxing's a sport we love. I know many of you are passionate, passionate boxing fans. But my goodness, this sport really does take us for fools, doesn't it? You know, I keep telling people that if you saw real boxing stories in a movie, you might get up and say, come on, this has to be Hollywood fiction. This could not happen in real life. This sport could not take its fans for granted this way. Well, in line with that idiot judge who shows up every second title fight, who scores a close fight, 119-111 or something like that, right? In line with that stupidity, you have a real-life situation. Did boxing not think we noticed? Involving 130-pound champion Oscar Valdez. Now, I keep hearing that the WBC is the place to be, right? WBC champs seem to think that they're better than IBF champs, than WBA champs, right? And we keep hearing about how the WBC has credibility. Let me just ask a simple question. Where is the credibility here? Only in boxing. Can they have drug testing? Can they advertise a fighter as being in the VADA protocol? Right? These fighters get in front of TV and they'll tell you, yeah, I'm in the VADA protocol. I want a level playing field. Then, of course... The guy fails the A sample. He doesn't know how. He's been living a priest's life. Right? He's only been eating organic natural foods. So he requests a B sample, and guess what, folks? He fails the B sample. Now, if boxing is smart, and that's assuming too much, we'll have someone from the WBC talk with the fans who pay the bills and explain to us how this guy could have failed two drug tests and still be eligible for his next title defense. What are you testing him for if you're going to say, oh, we failed this test. Oh, we failed the B sample. He's still eligible. Why am I hearing about the tests if the tests don't matter? Now, let's be clear on the drug he failed, right? Understand, VADA doesn't test for everything. If you've taken an aspirin or if you've had a COVID vaccine, you're not going to fail the test, folks, because people understand. Some fighters have real health situations, right? That COVID vaccine is for a reason. It's not to get a competitive edge in a boxing match. We all get it. Here, Valdez fails for a weight cutter. Now we're hearing that he thinks he may have failed because of herbal tea. Right, folks, you and I know the way this works. We've been watching the Olympics for years. I remember that 88 Olympics. I'm telling you that the athletes who are cutting corners, the athletes who are at risk of failing these drug tests, have the cover story in place before the failed test. So they know, okay, this supplement over here has the prohibited substance. So if I get pinched, if someone says, hey, player, something was floating in your urine. Hey, 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 something's in your blood that shouldn't be there. I can then say, you know what, I was taking this tainted meat. Or, you know what, I, uh, I did drink some of this herbal tea that I happen to get at this out-of-the-way health store that's off the grid, that no one knows about. 
and I decided to try this product in the lead up to my title defense. Who are they kidding? Let me say this is a richly deserved red cup for boxing. You gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. What I want boxing to do is to clean this up. If Oscar Valdez is going to go ahead with his fight after failing the B sample, we need to have the sanctioning body whose belt he's defending come forward and clearly, clearly explain to us why this championship fight is not tainted by two failed drug tests the A sample and the B sample. Right? Explain to us why we should care about the title if the sanctioning body isn't going to honor the failed drug test. Also, why use VADA's name if you're not going to accept VADA's criteria? Right? We're hearing now that, oh, VADA's too stringent. Look, that's not what fighters were saying when they agreed to VADA. Right? It's like you say, hey, I'm down with VADA. Then you fail the test, and you're like, hey, man, VADA's playing me. VADA's playing you. Come on, enough of this. So, I think Valdez is a hell of a fighter. I had Miguel Burchild uh, in Valdez's uh, fight, and Valdez beat him. He's exceeded my expectation. Hey, great fighter. I look forward to his fights. But not like this. Right? Don't make drug testing a farce. Let's also be clear here. We know boxing is divided into weight class. Right? You, you understand that a guy gets an advantage if he's able to make weight in a way that's not allowed. Right? Valdez's opponent isn't there, you know, sipping on the same herbal tea to make weight. If he's not allowed to do it, why is Valdez the champion allowed to do it? If you're going to test for it, if it's a banned substance under VADA protocol, then, that, then it's a banned substance. Right? You can't have a situation where VADA's doing the testing and then you don't honor the test results. Folks, it doesn't have to be a steroid to be performance enhancing. You know weight matters in boxing. You know some champs have lost their belts because they haven't been able to make weight. You cannot have guys cutting corners illegally outside of VADA rules to make weight failed two drug tests and then be able to proceed with a title fight. That doesn't make sense to me. If it makes sense to you, tell us why in the comment section of this video. Let me point out too that I am a child of the 70s and 80s. Right? I remember in American football, guys you hardly ever heard of suddenly showed up at these college football all-star games and looked like some of the best athletes you've ever seen. I've long told people, one of the best baseball players I have ever seen in my life, and I watched the sport a long time, was Jose Canseco when he had his 40-40 year. I was looking at the guy, I couldn't believe the guy was that fast. I couldn't believe the guy hit baseballs that far. Right? The guy, people might forget, he was so dominant that he once made an all-star game. All-star games, you make them in the middle of the season without playing a game that season. Baseball fans looked at the player and said, man, this dude is dominant. Then, of course, you found out that it was all, or at least partially, PED related. Right? Let's not kid ourselves. Cutting corners, taking substances to make weight or to build muscle, 
they give you a competitive advantage. I thought the point here was a level playing field. I thought we wanted athletes coming in without illegal weight cutters. If that's the point of this drug testing protocol stuff, then how is Oscar Valdez able to proceed with his next fight? Right? Either have credibility or don't. Right? If you're not going to test, then don't test. If you are going to test, then honor the test. Is that too much to ask? Let me hear from you. Either way, you don't have to agree with me. Just tell us your reasons in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.